Hello folks, in this video we are going to see a little bit of more advanced topic related to synchronization. Uh, the synchronized method we used earlier, it works fine, uh, we saw, you know, the results are good. Uh, but the issue is that it's an expensive operation, it's going to lock this class and the other threads are going to wait and there's a serious overhead in uh, doing this. So for some of these uh, basic stuff that we are trying to do, uh, there is a Java Util Concurrent Atomic uh, Package, okay, and it has a lot of different uh, methods and functions available uh, that can be used. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a demo of uh, uh, how to use that package. So let me copy this guy and I'm going to call it atomic thread. It's complaining because of name conflict, you know, since we are in the same package and this class is there in another file, it is complaining about it. So we're going to change it, okay, we're going to make it atomic visit, let's save this, this will go away. Uh, so there's a new type, all right, so we got here is equal to new atomic long okay and then we need to do it in import so we are basically uh, including this new uh, method uh, it's called atomic long okay so now that we have this we're going to instead of doing all this we will simply put here a system dot out dot print line uh, print actually let me do a print and I'm going to do is get name plus I'm going to put a space oh, let me put a colon and let me do is this atomic atomic uh, long dot full static atomic long what am I missing here sorry it's atomic visit dot visit dot increment and get okay so it's the plus plus and we'll get the value back okay and uh, then I want to put a little actually you know what uh, let me just do a print line then we don't need any of this okay we save this guy let's run it So one of the things you'll notice here is uh, the sequence, right? Thread 2 is pending before thread 0, etc. But it is basically a question of timing. Uh, there are two times. Firstly, when did the thread actually get access to this thing? So that's one. Uh, that's all scheduling, right? And the number two is uh, when did the system out actually get the chance to write it out? So there are two things here. But what you got to note here is there are no duplicates here. Okay, so let me let me actually do this thing this way I can do a print let me just get rid of all this So if you notice here, there are no duplicates. So it goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. all the way to 25. So it's just a question of timing when things are being printed onto the console. Uh, but really there is no uh, issue with uh, race situation where uh, same value is showing up multiple times, right? So like I think, uh, do we have it here? I don't think so. No, I think this is not the one. So yeah, I think in the synchronized thread we had a situation where before we put the synchronized block, uh, if we had a situation where actually we can just show it.
So I think right. So so we had a situation like that where we had multiple threads uh, during their you know this the visit you know they're they're picking up the wrong number okay so there's multiple of these things okay happening uh, so this is not a good situation right we got a bunch of guys saying seven and then you know we have a few that are fine whereas in this case if you run it you obviously the sequence is not right but that's scheduling that is not an issue what the thread that gets to the variable at a specific time is able to operate on it and there's no race situation um, everybody sort of goes acts on the variable and then they're good okay so this is one of the things you know we you can explode uh, explore this um, uh, this import statement you can explore this uh, package and it has a it has a lot of different uh, uh, you know methods available uh, things like you know get and set get an increment uh, you know the long float etc and these are all um, you know safe in terms of multi threading okay and these are also have very low overhead so idea is to use them as much as possible and when only when you absolutely need to you would use your synchronized block okay so I hope you like the video and uh, we will see you in the next session. Thank you.